Squire Paris's store. There's a strong spectral presence. Shall we? Ah, that is better. That is better indeed. Ah, can't an honest man catch his breath in peace? Now, where were we? Without wishing to pry, are you sure you're well? You do pry. I welcome it. I'm not as well as I would like. I blame the setting. English men and English women out here in the woods it is unnatural. Might I be of help? The man who killed the beast. I imagine you might. I hope you're not about to tell me there's another one. Oh, n nothing like that. At least I hope not. No, my bodyguard is missing, and with recent events, no one here seems interested. It's not like Jane to leave unannounced, and I can't run the store without her. Where to your mind might Jane have gone? If I knew that, I'd tell you. I'm baffled. All these years, she's been nothing but loyal. Tell me about Jane, if you would. My partner Jane is proudly Pennacook. I doubt she'll tell her story to some white-skinned stranger. But if she does, she'll tell you the truth. The question is moot. She's not here. With the beast gone, Jane had the fidgets. But I never thought she'd abandon me. My mistake. She spent a lot of time in her cabin working on a map. Foolish of me not to realize she'd use it. He's genuinely worried, but there's something else going on here. I wonder what it is. Jane's map? What do you know about it? Where did it lead? Oh, I must now break confidence and share a little of Jane's tale. You ever hear of the hummingbirds? The hummingbirds are mercenaries. They and Jane share a past. She has, for years, been hunting them. I suspect she found a new lead and chose not to tell me about it. I should have a look in her quarters. Her cabin stands facing the store. I'll not object to you searching it. She may feel differently. Stay put. I'll look around. Please, and thank you. Jane doesn't trust her boss. We should poke through the squire's books. She's very defensive about that particular patch of forest. Like you with the blanket when the night is cold. When her people were sick, the mercenaries massacred them. Of course they did. Cowards. We're not opening that without a key. Shouldn't be hard to find. No keys here. I thought I saw something shiny. Still nothing. Here, I found something. Huh. 
I wouldn't have kept a key here. You probably would. There, the squire's archives. Squire Paris bought Jane's freedom, then hired her as his bodyguard. That was generous of him. Paris had traded with the Pennacook, Jane's people. He knew she had nowhere else to go. Did he wish to help, or did he wish to profit? Right. We should talk to the squire. Yes. Hummingbird mercenaries massacred Jane's people. She likely seeks revenge. Ah, right. You don't seem surprised. Why do you think we came to a backwater like New Eden? She knew the hummingbirds had been here. You intended to help her take revenge? I would have, gladly, if I were twenty years younger. These men, what poor Jane endured. Perhaps she wanted to keep you out of it. What else can you tell me? Jane had a cache of weapons in the woods, at the Fiery Grove, as she described it. I suppose she means that the trees there are autumn red. Mm, arms in the woods, red leaf trees. Noted. Stay put. I'll look around. Please, and thank you. We must find Jane. Let's try this fiery grove. She means to kill the hummingbirds. Hell of a mission for one person alone. Sincere's attitude is definitely strange, and not only for his constant whining. This must be Jane's watchtower. There's more of them. Peaceful. No wonder she kept it to herself. A haven where one can mourn and scheme. Well, I want to. I'd have liked to have seen it. With you. She's an artist. That makes her doubly dangerous.
What do you think, my little leaden friends? Shall we shoot together in the woods? The lucky one shall taste the white man's blood, and oh, there shall be blood. And when it's done and my people are avenged, I shall fill the killer's hearts with whatever lead remains. Rings with engraved hummingbirds. Jane is getting her revenge. She'll likely not stop till the last one is dead. Jane tracked the mercenaries to the swamps. Then that's where she's gone. Jane means to take revenge and kill them all. With the help of Squire Sincere Paris. More spectre mess for us to clean up. Let's go do a little scouting. There's a ghost here. Jane? Most likely. Watch out! Spectre position! Spectre heading for that corpse. We Highland Kiss for you. What do you want? We've met. You're the Wandering Banisher. And now you have a spirit with you. Antea Duarte. I'm a Banisher too. Jane, we're here to help. I do not want your help. Not yet. I was so close when they got me. The hunt is not done. I am not done. What keeps you here? My people are dead. Their hummingbird murderers live. This is their nest. Did these men kill you? No hummingbird alive could get me. I was killed by a spirit that rose from the mud. I was careless. Kate warned me that this land is cursed. Now I'm a part of it. My body lies amongst the corpses, unable to raise my gun to the men who killed my people. The gun is the tie. I'm hunting. If you wish to help, then follow me. Lead the way. What have you learned so far? I've learned names. French names, English, Spanish, Greek. Men who forgot their people and went to war for money. Brave boys, and raw, filled with foolish stories, easily recruited, 
their skin crawls with the stench of what they did. Death does not wash them clean. Once you've revealed the roots, I'll destroy them. Precise. Well done. Watch out. Spectre possession. Blast. Possession incoming. This isn't over yet. Watch out. Spectre position. Move it. Killed for a blood debt generations old. A shame they cannot pay twice over. this at all. The smallpox in the blankets was intentional. Many of us were infected by smallpox weeks before the attack, but we were recovering. This can't be a coincidence. Good little bird. He flew away.
name from Squire Paris's books. Bourgé. Wait. Are you saying my friend the Squire knew the mercenaries who murdered my tribe? Squire Paris sold you a people pox-riddled blankets. When the illness worked too slowly, the hummingbirds attacked. If this is true, then I shall kill the Squire dead. What would happen, Jane? I swear it. You bought my freedom. You paid for the hunt. Did you think you could... Banish her? Thank God! Sad news, I fear. Jane lies dead in the mire. You must help me. You must help us. You partnered with the hummingbirds. You're complicit in the slaughter. No! The attack was not part of the deal. Once the blankets were sold, the penny cook were in God's hands, not mine. Like the man who killed your friend Jesus, you wash your hands clean and think yourself absolved. What a man of honor you are. But then the Lord sent you to me. I did all I could to give you a life, so you could have revenge on the killers, the real killers. I did all I could to wipe away the pain of the past. Your pain. Not tell me the truth. You knowingly sold infected blankets to Jane's tribe. A clean conscience can't be bought. You, you, you don't know what you're talking about. You weren't there. You insult me. Get out of my house. Every business needs an accounting. Time for yours. Squire Sincere Paris, you dealt death to Jane's people. The trade is not complete. A payment remains outstanding. I, I paid my debt! Jane, do you wish the debt settled? No. But settled it must be. Do it. Death. Does my death settle my account? 